try not to crash the old Rigorewski, but we are on the road again, boys. On the way to old Dusty Dard, Dardanelle, or Lake Dardanelle in Russellville, Arkansas. So, second stop of the Toyota Series this season for the Southwestern Division. Been there twice before for some college tournaments. So, have a little bit of experience. One went well, the other one we just got on a deal a little too late. So, going to try and put, put a phenomenal finish together this week. We, the season needs it. The bank account needs it. We're about three hours from the lake. It was supposed to rain today, so we left Dallas at like 8 and get there about midday right after the rain stops and start practicing. So, And this event, it's a little different. It's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday instead of the regular Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that for us. I'm supposed to get a bunch of rain during practice, so it's, it's going to be straight river rat fishing. So I'm excited about it. A little shallow water derby, and yeah, we'll keep you all updated, get you some B-roll shots on the highway and rolling into Arkansas and whatnot. So yeah, stay tuned. We'll have probably four or five videos from this series, hopefully five. No, probably like six or seven, honestly, because just got into Arkansas a little bit ago probably like 10 minutes ago and yeah excited to be there the weather looks good outside as you can see it's supposed to be a lot worse it's a <clears throat> it's gonna be thunderstorming and stuff so hopefully it's not thunderstorming and raining when we get there but you never know mother nature is unpredictable as all get out so yeah game plan for practice obviously find the big ones but I think it's gonna be a sh predominantly shallow water derby um, waters Per the fishing reports is in the 60s or well low 60s probably um, <clears throat> so yeah I'm gonna throw a swim jig around a frog around maybe a little spinnerbait action um, crank a little bit probably flip a little bit so a lot of stuff that I like to do so excited about it and we'll see y'all at the ramp Alright, we have made it. We are here. Old Dusty Dard. She is chocolate soup right now. They've gotten a bunch of rain. So, I guess that's to as be expected on a river system. But we're about to dump the boat in and get to it, boys and girls. We are on the water. And yeah, ready to get practice started. Like I said a little, little bit ago, it is a lot dirtier. It's a lot dirtier than it was the other two times I've been here, but springtime rains, you know, it's going to happen, but the fish still live in there and you still got to make them bite, so somebody's got to win the big check this week, so might as well be us, but we're going to get to dobbing around and bring you all along for the ride. Okay, well, <laughs> we're already going to have to tie up some different stuff because, like I said, the water's way muddier than it. I when I've been here before, so It'd be a lot of chartreuse and black and some spinner baits, double Colorado blades, stuff like that. So I'm gonna get a few different other things tied up, or really just two things, and then start fishing around. So. Bass number one didn't take long, folks. Gonna have to be a hell of a lot bigger than that, though. <laughs> so, where I pulled up to is behind me over there. There's like a little spawning pocket that they can get into. And then this bank in front of me is like a, it's like a, basically a channel swing bank. Real steep, like the boat's sitting in like, I think, seven, eight feet of water. And then just a little bit that way, it's like 20 feet. So, that's what we're doing right now. And he clocked the spinner. Don't catch all 
I put her a little too far there, boys. Okay, so that's it for day one of prep. Well, I mean, it was like, it was, I wouldn't even consider that day one, but pretty much stayed around the same area all day. It's a fairly big area, Illinois Bayou. And just caught rats, unfortunately. So I'm gonna go back out there tomorrow and keep keep the progression going. I'm gonna mix it up, go to a different area of the lake, most likely. Um, so I mean, we fished a few areas pretty hard in there that should have had fish in them. And I mean, because I could see fish pushing shad, see shad moving around in the pads and stuff. And for whatever reason, they just really weren't that many fish in there. Or I was throwing the wrong stuff. I don't know which one, honestly. But it was also super windy today. So a lot of those areas were really, I mean, like I said before, it's gotten, they've gotten a lot of rain. So the water's dirty, but then it was also blowing like mock Jesus in there. So... I think they could have just blown out some of those areas, but tomorrow's a new day and see y'all.